so hello friends welcome to our next video today we are going to see how to draw an kubelka monk plot using a origin software and uv absorption data so let's start our today's video so this is the absorption data just copy this and we are using origin 2019b software to obtain the kubel kamang plot paste it in this workbook now here the x axis is the wavelength whose unit is nanometer and y axis shows the absorption we need to add some column here for calculation now select column c and set the column value that is ten to the power minus absorption that is column b now select column d and set the column value that is 1 minus column c to the power square that is 1 minus r whole square now select the column e and set the column value that is column c divided by twice column d which is equal to 1 minus r whole square divided by twice r and this column is f of r now select the column f and set the column value that is 1240 divided by lambda that is column a and this is equal to h nu that is binding energy now select the column g and multiply column e and f to it you can take whole square or either 
half which is depend on what type of band calculation you are doing if you are calculating direct band gap then you can take two and if you are calculating a indirect band gap then you need to take half so here i am calculating the indirect band gap that's why i am taking to the power half now set the f column as x axis and drag f and g axis and see the graph you will find the kubelka monk plot here now for a clear image we will rescale both x and y axis so first we will rescale the x axis we will take its value from one point seven five to four and always remember the y axis should start from zero so that to calculate the band gap it is easy now we will change the title of both the axis on the y axis we need to take f of r multiplied by h new whole to the power half and its unit is electron volt to the power half and on the y axis it is binding energy whose unit is electron volt now to get the band gap what we need to do we need to draw a tangent to the slope of the graph so let's draw tangent here and the point to be noted here is that the tangent should intersect the x axis at the zero coordinate of y axis and here the tangent is intersecting the x axis with zero coordinate y axis at point approximately 2.1 let's check yeah that is 2.09 so this is the band gap calculated for this 
material as you can see 2.09 on x axis it is showing the band gap so thank you friends for watching my video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel if you like the videos thank you